Ukraine's Zelensky sees hope in aggressive Russia talks. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Wednesday that talks with Russia are confrontational, but going ahead, as officials appealed to the Russians to let tens of thousands of people to flee the besieged city of Mariupol amid an escalating humanitarian catastrophe. The Municipal Council of Mariupol said on Tuesday that Russian air raids had reduced the city to the ashes of a dead country. A large number of people are reported to be confined to their homes, without access to food, clean water, electricity or heat. According to regional governor Pavlo Kyrilenko, Russian artillery has targeted a port city with a population of roughly 400,000 people. Russia's RIA news agency quoted a separatist spokesman as saying that Russian military and Russian-backed rebel fighters have seized approximately half of the port city. Amid a lack of progress in talks with Moscow, Zelensky remained hopeful. According to Antonio Guterres, UN Secretary General, the negotiations have made progress. The invasion of Ukraine by Russian President Vladimir Putin, which started on February 24, has resulted in the exodus of nearly 3.5 million people, put Russia in an unparalleled state of economic isolation, and sparked concerns of a larger European confrontation. In addition to obstructing a humanitarian supply convoy from reaching Mariupol, Russian soldiers are claimed to have seized 15 bus drivers and rescue personnel and their vehicles, according to another Ukrainian official. In the northwest, where Russia is attempting to surround and take many of Kyiv's suburbs, intense artillery fire could be heard, as well as explosions. According to Ukraine's defense ministry, Russian soldiers were driven out of the Makarov suburb after a violent struggle, but the Russians had also gained control of Bukha, Hostomol, and a pin in the northwestern suburbs. According to the Wall Street Journal, the United States is preparing to announce additional sanctions against Russia as early as Thursday, which might explain the Russians' continuous shelling of Ukraine. When he arrives in Brussels this week for an emergency NATO summit, a G7 meeting, and a European Council meeting, US Vice President Joe Biden is anticipated to unveil the new steps.